Josh, several weeks into life as a chief, how, how has the opening weeks been? Uh, it's been great, yeah. Uh, great to get to know the players, coaches. I mean, coming into a new environment, it's always a bit, bit scary. So, you know, the people and the players have all been really great. It's been really good to get out there and get going. I know when we spoke about your signing a month or so ago now, um, you were really excited about the, the move and, as you say, testing yourself in a different environment. Yeah, well, obviously the club's, the club's doing really well in the Premiership at the moment and uh, the players that they've got, you know, there's, there's top level players. Um, it's good to get in the mix with them and, and learn off them and hopefully push them for positions too. And you're coming in at a very exciting stage of the season. It's going to be nine weeks of rock and roll rugby almost. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I mean, hopefully, hopefully try and get some game time. Hopefully push on with, uh, with some of the big boys in the back three. You know, you've got the likes of Noli, Hoggy, you know, really good players. And hopefully you can just try and push them on. And if not, if not make the team, make it better for the, for the game day. As a young player, how much can you go to those sort of guys and say, give me a bit of your experience. You've been at the top end, you've played at the very top. Yeah, I think the people that they are, they, they allow it really easily. Um, they're not like, go away. Cause, yeah, they're really, really good players. And I've been able to go up to anyone and they've always welcomed me and helped me out whenever I need it. Last weekend, uh, or last week, we saw uh, the first trial match. First 40 minutes of real proper hit out. How was that? And a nice try for you as well. Yeah, it was, it was a good game. You know, obviously five months or so of being out with COVID and coming back from an ankle injury. Uh, it was really good to get out on the pitch, uh, do, do the stuff and get into the movements of how, how we want to play here. It was a really good hit out. What's it been like for a player in COVID? Different? Strange? It's been tough. It was tough at the start. Um, I didn't have any equipment at all. Um, so it was a struggle. It was like finding your own ways to do stuff and overcome the problems that you had. Um, I was obviously, I was rehabbing my ankle injury, so I had a syndesmosis. So I had to do that pretty much on my own, which was pretty difficult. But it was good at the same time, learn the body. But no, it was coming into the club, having not done so many weights, it was a big, big jump. What attracted you to the Chiefs? You know, everyone will say, you know, they're, they're a good team and they've been around the top, but as a young player, you would have had options to maybe look at. And I, think, I think one of the main things was the coaches, the coaches and the players, uh, obviously the facilities as well. You've got top class facilities, but mainly just to, to learn. Um, I think it's a great opportunity for me to learn off the likes of Hoggy and Noli and Cuthbert, you know, Flats. They're all top players and obviously Woodburn, big powerful club ball player. Um, but yeah, I think learning off them is one of the main things that I looked at and I thought I could develop. And you come into a group where you know lots of familiar faces already from the 20s. How much would that help in, in settling in here? Yeah, it was nice. Um, obviously, a few chats with the boys before I actually arrived and obviously wanted to go to the coffees and stuff and obviously invite me around for a meal. It was all nice. Obviously, the likes of the 20s boys, uh, you got Hinkley obviously coming in as well. Um, you got Sam Warner, Capstick and Petchy. You know, I was quite tight with them in England. Uh, had a bit of a laugh here and there, but... Obviously, knowing, knowing players when you're coming in is always going to give you a bit of an extra helping hand and make you settle a lot easier. And the games are going to come thick and fast now, Josh. Even if you're playing or you're not playing, the whole squad is going to be utilised over these next three yeah. months. Yeah, it's going to be a squad effort. Um, obviously, you've got, you've got your team and then you've got the boys that are going to help it on training day, um, prepare them best for the, for the match day. Obviously, with the crammed games, you've always got to be prepared and on, on the game, uh, know your stuff and look after yourself. Finally, have you set yourself any objectives, any targets now, or is it just let's settle in and see how we go? I think for for at the moment, um, obviously I'm pushing for that that team. I'm obviously I'm, I'm eager. I wanna wanna be playing. So hopefully get get some game time early on um, with all the crammed games. Hopefully, maybe we'll see. But I think just now, get my head down, get into training, get know the stuff right, and then hopefully prepare myself best for that game day or that training day.